tonight on The Deed Chicago. A motivated young contractor. I plan to retire at the age of 40. Tries to turn his dark past. I ended up doing about four years in jail. Into a bright future. This is condemned by the city. And if we don't come in, they're going to demolish yeah. it. Yeah. But will saving an abandoned house from the wrecking ball. This is a disaster zone. Definitely seen better days. Push him over the edge. You've got 14 projects going, right? Might as well go big or go home. That's a recipe for disaster. If I can help him turn his business and this property around. That floor needs some help, doesn't it? It's Definitely. fully rotten. This could be the ultimate before. So the water has destroyed this entire back wall. And after. Oh, this is amazing. He may have been born in Ireland, but Sean Conlon was made in America. I have lived the American dream. He's built a fortune in the hard-nosed world of Chicago real estate. I came here with $500 in my pocket, and I worked as a janitor. I shoveled snow. I cleaned toilets. I did anything I needed to do to scratch out a living. At night, he started to sell real estate. After I got my first commission check, I realized I was never going back to my day job. And by age 26, he was one of the top earning brokers in America. I have bought, sold, and flipped billions of dollars of real estate. There's nothing more exhilarating than taking something that's tired and run down and breathing new life into it. Now, Sean's looking out for the next generation of developers. We need help. There's no crisis we can't handle. Investing his own money. So what's your ask? $2 million. And years of experience. We'll see how it should be done. To help them create great real estate. It's spectacular. Wow, this is beautiful. And their own success stories. You've helped me save this. Thank you. Hi. This is The Deed Chicago. 30-year-old Marcello Killian is a GC turned flipper, looking to make his mark in Chicago's real estate industry. My whole life is just dedicated to work. How are you guys? I work about 16, 18 hours a day, seven days a week. Good morning. I know that nothing in life comes to us easy. But Marcello is hoping it comes fast. Work, work, work for about another 10 years, and I plan to completely retire at the age of 40. With the help of his girlfriend, Cecilia, who just got a real estate license, but has only ever had one client, Marcello. I'm very excited and ready to do whatever I can to get through this with him. And we think, you know, with hard work now, it'll pay off in the long run. Marcello's latest project could either make his career or break it. A 3,700 square foot condemned graystone in Chicago's East Garfield Park that he purchased for just over $47,000. This house was something that really caught my attention. You just don't see, you know, old mansions of this caliber just hanging around. Marcello's an experienced GC and already owns several properties in the neighborhood, but this is his biggest project to date. So he's called me in because he needs more than just cash. Sean is somebody that I've actually been looking for for years. I've been looking for a mentor, so I need to know how to get to that next level. Marcello, I assume. Hey, Sean. Nice to meet, to meet you. you. Thanks nice for coming out. What a majestic property. Nice street, too. A lot of single families, okay. mainly redone. Owner occupied, redone. Wow, this could be really beautiful. Chicago Greystones began to pop up in the late 1800s. Now, I love them because while they're a sign of wealth and affluence, the facade makes a statement without screaming it. Really beautiful, right? Yes. OK, well, let's get inside, OK? Come on, let me give you a tour. Sadly, over the years, most of the Greystones in this neighborhood have been demolished. So Marcello's lucky to have gotten his hands on one. Whoa. On second thought, maybe not. This is a disaster zone. Definitely seen better days. Wow. A lot of work here. It's a complete rehab. Well, obviously, you need a whole new roof and everything. We actually have a lot of joist issues, if you see me yeah. rotting. I mean, everything. There's so much water damage here. Yeah, pretty much everything has to be replaced. I mean, the ceiling heights are incredible. I think we have over 10 feet on both oh, floors. You definitely do. This had to be such an incredible home. It was. This was amazing at one point. Sometime back in the 60s, this property was divided up into two separate apartments. But Marcello plans to bring it back to a single family home to recapture its former glory. And we can't wait to restore it. This property has been empty and abandoned for 15 years. And most developers would come in and tear it down and build something new. I like the fact that Marcello respects the history. It's a 
good sized basement. The basement will have one bedroom and a full bath with a large rec room. Wow. On the first floor, there will be two bedrooms, one bath, and a large open concept living room, dining room, and kitchen. And on the second floor, there will be two more bedrooms, a master suite, and a grand library in the front as a nod to the house's original layout. Now, the windows are incredible. They are, beautiful yeah. size. Not looking forward to the window quote. Yeah, that'll be an expensive one. All right, yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? They're they just kind of for nicely. show. All right, so some work to be done on the windows, no to sell. But that is the main architectural feature of the house. Definitely. Look at this. It's like a bowling alley, the way it flows nice back Nice open floor plan. Can you imagine when this is done? This is going to be amazing. Dark floors, white walls. White walls, tall ceilings. I mean, the whole place will just pop. And so have you always wanted to be in construction? It's funny, you know, when I was actually a little kid, I used to build with Lincoln Logs. I used to build little developments. And when my family seriously? came home, seriously. When my family came home, I would try to sell them these little houses. How was that market? Uh, it was tough, very <laughs> tough. And you grew up in Chicago, or? So I was born here in Chicago, okay. I was raised in Florida, and then I just moved back up here about six years ago to change my life. What do you mean? You know, when I was a teenager, I found myself hanging out with the wrong crowd. And there was actually a point in time where um, I was in a car with the wrong people, and they had some drugs and guns. Um, and we all went to jail for it, um, wow. including me. How long? I ended up doing about four years in jail. Four years of your life? Yes. Wow. Four years were completely wasted. I, I won't say completely wasted, right. because I did utilize them. Uh, I spent them you know, studying books, uh, foreclosure books. I really learned about real estate, the basics of business and finance. So you must get up every morning and thank God for your life now, right? I do. I thank God for you know, the blessings to be able to make the changes that I made. So I came up here, I had about $500 in my pocket. I started my first remodeling company. With the money from that, I bought my first flip, made about $50,000. Okay, but that's incredible. It was incredible. I mean, and that really got my mouth, uh, you know, watering for yeah. the success. I think that's inspiring. Marcello did his time and makes no excuses. He owns it. He easily could have come out and fallen back in with the same crowd and the same old habits, but he hasn't. He's pulled himself up by the bootstraps, and I really think that he's making the most of it. What's going on back here? This looks terrible. I've, yeah, I've not seen anything that bad in a long, long time. Yeah, the ceiling, the roof is virtually just, you know, there by luck. This yeah. is condemned by the city, and if we don't come in and restore it to its natural yeah. beauty, they're gonna demolish yeah. it. And that would be a shame, wouldn't it? It's a tragedy to see these historical homes just get smashed into rubble. This is the potential to be the ultimate before and after. But my God, even with Marcella's construction experience, this is a huge undertaking. So you've done flips. Done flips. How many? Uh, we've done about 15. Wow. I mean, that's really significant. Thank you. So how many houses do you have right now? 13 buy and holds in the area right now. So nothing like going big at number 14, right? Might as well go big or go home. So where are you at on the renovation of these properties? So all the properties are currently under renovation at one stage or another. How did you finance those properties? I needed my mom to co-sign. I have two loans right now totaling $1.7 million, um, and I have about another $250,000 of actual capital tied up into that. So right now, I have about $2 million on the streets. That's a lot of money. My end game is to have a ton of rental properties. I want over 1,000 units, and I want to get them over the next 10 years. I'm 30 years old today, and I want to retire at 40. I find it incredibly admirable that Marcello wants to retire at 40. So did I, and then the Great Recession happened in 2008. And as Mike Tyson says, everybody has a plan till they get punched in the face. Do you find it intimidating? Not really. Not a good answer. I would find it intimidating. Really? Look, this kid has huge balls, no question. But having loans out on 14 properties 
while they're all undergoing renovation, is absolutely insane. Slow and steady wins the race. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Hi, Cecilia. Hi, hey, this is my girlfriend, Cecilia. Cecilia. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. So are you part of this insane operation, I too? I very much am. So can I ask you, he's obviously incredibly ambitious. Yes. What do you think of him having 14 properties going at his age? It is definitely scary. OK, and, that's good. Are you listening to Cecilia? <laughs> I'm listening. I would always listen. <laughs>